pandemic will have a massive impact on geopolitics. And I'd like to hear uh, cite four dimensions which can help us think about how uh, international politics will change because of coronavirus. The first is uh, security. Uh, states traditionally consider other states to be the major source uh, of threats, of instability. And as a consequence, uh, they articulate their foreign policy in a way that these threats are minimized, either by investing in military power or uh, by creating alliances. But now, uh, the, a pandemic is a new type of threat, and along with terrorism and climate change, we can now see that the major threats states are facing are no longer caused by other states, but are different and require different uh, conception of security. The second aspect is how globalization will uh, change. Uh, we will see uh, many new factors influencing the way that states think about globalization, that companies think about uh, globalization. It will no longer be uh, focused purely on creating economies of scale and about creating uh, new, if better efficiencies, but it rather will be focused on resilience uh, in times of geopolitical uncertainty. Uh, and that will certainly uh, show that, you know, we're coming towards the end of a period shaped by hyper-globalization and the state market balance is changing with a much more powerful role for the state. The third aspect is that because of the economic crisis over the next years, we'll see a lot of political instability in the world. So leaders will be focused on, um, on internal matters, internal challenges. So that will make cooperation more difficult. Uh, we'll have in general more political instability, which uh, will reduce the number of states which have the power to project them themselves abroad. And finally, we are seeing uh, an accelerated trend of a shift of power from the West towards Asia. This is not only about China. We can see that the countries, many countries, which dealt fairly well uh, with the pandemic are in Asia, such as South Korea, such as Vietnam. Uh, and those countries will certainly emerge from the crisis uh, in a much better shape than the United States, for example, or the United Kingdom. And uh, I think this reflects a broader trend, which has been going on for quite some time, uh, that increasingly Asia will be able to set the uh, debate and play a much more important role in global politics.